Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. The kids are coming. We're having a hot dog today and we're gonna grill. So we are about to start some hot dog chili. Doesn't have beans in it. And we're gonna make some slaw. And then we'll be back on in a little while. We're gonna be cooking all day back and forth. So um, enjoy watching hot dog chili. Hot dog chili is in our third cookbook, okay? And the only thing I don't have that I'm supposed to have is the garlic. So I'm going to use garlic powder and um, everything else, of course, we've got. We have some peppers from the garden. I've chopped up a jalapeno. Of course, you don't have to put that in there. Uh, but fresh ones aren't that hot. Um, I also chopped up some sweet pepper from the garden and a bell pepper from the garden. And then I had one little red pepper that I chopped up as well. So you're going to have to chop up a whole onion and um, some pepper, and we're gonna get that in this preheated skillet and start letting it soften a little bit. And my dark chili. It's a lot, so we're gonna start doing this first. his own grill. He made it out of concrete blocks and we're going to be using it today to do our hot dogs. It's going to be fun. And we got a little bit of Kineca sausage left over from whenever we made those fancy beanie weenies. Yeah. So I'm going to throw that out there too. I may just eat that while I'm making a hot dog. <laughs> I'm already hungry because I didn't eat breakfast. So we're just going to let this cook a minute, and then we're going to add our ground beef. So while we're doing that, we could chop up a little bit of cabbage uh, while this is simmering. We're going to do two recipes at a time, all right? I've got onion on the counter, but it's not going to hurt anything. Got a carrot, and so we're going to start uh, grating some cabbage for our slaw. And I'm just going to grate it right here on top of this. I've got some cabbage, and I like to use a hand grater when I make slaw. This is a glove that keeps me from getting cut. My mama always used a hand grater, and Chris's mama still uses a hand grater, and that's what I like to do as well. I'm not crazy about slaw that's uh, already pre-cut. And I really don't like it as good when you chop it small either uh, with a knife. I really like it grated because all the juices come out and give it a lot more flavor of cabbage, I think. What do you think, Chris? Oh yeah, this is way better. I, I don't like the big, like you're talking about, like the big shreds of cabbage. Yeah. And all that. yeah. A lot of people shred it really thin, but it still don't have the same effect to me as taking it through a grater. If you get one of these gloves, you don't have to so much worry about getting scratched or cut with, when you're cutting up something or using the grater or using a mandolin especially. You should use a pair of these. Oh yeah. They're real affordable. You can throw them in the wash machine. And they work. And they work. And of course, they're on our website, just like everything else under must-haves is where the gloves are. I'm thinking that this is going to be enough uh, with these two pieces. That's why I didn't cut up the other side, but we'll see. What do you think, Chris? Uh, yeah. I mean, because usually we just pretty much eat, eat it on the hot dogs, right? Yeah. And we're going to have chili as well. Yeah. And we're going to have potato salad and uh, what else are we going to have? Potato salad, sliced oh, that watermelon. Pie. Yeah. And I'm watermelon. going to make a fresh strawberry pie. Yeah. Plenty. Be plenty to eat. And we got a lot of hot dogs. 
I'll show you the hot dogs. These are ballparks. We usually eat um, Nathan's or ballparks or uh, what else have we had that's really good that are hot Hebrew dogs? Nationals. Hebrew Nationals are really good. But I like to eat pop ballpark because it just tastes like a regular hot dog. It don't so much taste like sausage. Right. But the Hebrew National and the Nathan's taste a little bit more like mm -hmm. sausage. They're really they? good. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. But I just like a plain old hot dog. Yeah. You know. Um, I just do. Because that's what I ate growing up. We didn't eat those other kinds growing up. We ate the cheap stuff because that's all we could afford for four kids growing up. Plus ballpark, ballpark, that's hard to say. Ballpark Franks plump when you cook them. <laughs> and now what the commercial? I like them. Plump when you cook them. I really do like them. <laughs> all right. So that's all of our slaw. Get these big pieces out. And we'll put it in our bowl. We're gonna mix this up. By the time we put this in the bowl, then we can start adding the meat to our chili. And while the meat's cooking, we'll mix up the slaw. See, that wasn't hard. It don't even take long. A lot of people think it's too much trouble, but it's not. It's not trouble at all, is it, baby? I am going to, well, I need to do this real quick. Right. I'm gonna grate this carrot really, really quick. I like to use the small side. Actually, you should hold it by the small side and that way you get more carrot grated. But I like to use the small grate. This is the grate that I like to use for my carrot raisin salad, the tiny one. Oh, it's so super good when you use the small one. This adds a little color to your slaw. You just stow that glove in the dishwasher, don't you? Not dishwasher, the washing machine. Oh, the washing machine. I just bleach it. Oh. Okay. Because it's going to be orange after cutting up this orange. I mean, after cutting up this orange carrot. Orange carrot. My favorite color is orange. Well, y'all know that. See it now? So I'm going to put this on the top here, and then we're going to add our meat to our chili. Yeah, this will just go in the washing machine with the whites. I'm going to turn this up now when I add the meat. And we'll have to get the grease out of it um, with some paper towels because this is 80% and so it'll have some grease. Um, this is a pound and a half of ground beef. My recipe is for a pound. So I'm making a little bit more chili than I normally do since we're having, you know, people over. Wash my hands. I mean, this chili doesn't have beans or anything in it. It's a hot dog chili. So it's uh, not runny, you know, like you would eat it like a soup. It's uh, got a little more structure to it so that you can put it on a hot dog better. And boy, is it tasty. Now we got one jalapeno, two sweet peppers, a bell pepper from the garden, onion. Uh, we're going to be adding basil. Those sweet peppers are from the garden, too. Yeah. Our garden's coming along pretty good. Maybe today when we go out there to grill, I'm hoping that we can go live out there today and that the 
data from our telephone company works good out there because you can't use the Wi-Fi from the house it's too far away. Chris put the grill pretty far away from the house. But y'all will get to see it today. Now I was thinking about making some funnel cakes for dessert out on the grill in an iron skillet. I thought that would be fun. But I'm not sure that we're going to do that or not. We would have to do it and have dessert before we eat in order to keep the fire hot with me, Chris. Uh, yeah. Funnel cakes have to be ate right when they're coming out. So we're just going to make a strawberry pie. We'll do funnel cakes another day. Maybe tomorrow or Sunday we'll do some funnel cakes. Because we've actually got some viewers coming into town. And they're supposed to come see us Sunday. That is something we could do with them if it's not too, too hot outside. So if y'all ever come into St. Mary's, let us know. And hopefully we'll get to see you. All right. While that's browning, we're going to be using some tomato sauce. That goes over there. Um, we're going to mix up some slaw. And I just all I do is add my mayonnaise and some sweet pickles. Now, Keisha don't like sweet pickles. You think I should leave them out today? No. Why? You can separate her out some... Regular slaw. Slaw, I guess. She likes dill pickles, not sweet pickles in her I, stuff. I don't mind the dill pickles in it. But, you I know, like it Amy, and you won't like it. Right. All right, so we're going to put some mayonnaise in here. Okay. And I'm going to mix it up and then take some out for Keisha. And then we'll put in the pickles. Okay. I want to put a little vinegar in it. So I gotta grab it. And some people like to put onion. And now we have a German coleslaw that's really good that we make. It has onion and sugar and vinegar. It's really good. It's good, really good. But this is all you need. Let me get just a little bit of vinegar to make it taste just a little bit better. Take Keisha's out. She don't like the sweet pickles. Do you salt and pepper it? I, I pepper it. Pepper. Oh. But I don't salt it. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's got the salt in the mayonnaise. mayonnaise. <laughs> but yeah, we do need to pepper it. And let's turn our beef a little bit, real quick. Okay. We're multitasking today, y'all. And this is on high. And it's about, it's getting ready. Get me. I always flip stuff out in the floor and the dogs eat it, but the dog's on up right now. You're like my cleanup crew. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, uh, you do all the things Mama told me not to do. You got dogs in the kitchen and you lick your spoon. And... And she said you put it back in your food, but what she don't realize is on the video that I that everybody thinks I do that on, I have three orange spatulas, and I trade them out, and it makes it look like I'm not trading them out, but I really do. So the last time the girls were here, I gave them two of the orange ones so that I would have different colors every time I dipped into something, so nobody would think I was doing that again. It's funny how people are. All right, we're going to get Keisha some out. Of course, if you kiss your uh, kids in the mouth and your husband on the mouth, it don't matter. It really probably don't matter if you lick the spoon, as long as you ain't serving it to the company people, people at church. Right. <laughs> or, that, or, you know, like today, we yeah, got company. Yeah, like if you got company. Yeah, you don't want to lick the spoon. Unless you kiss them too. 
All right, here we go. We're gonna put a little pickle in it and mix ours up. And so this will be our slaw and that'll be Keisha's slaw. And I put extra in there in case her boyfriend don't like sweet pickles. Cause I have no idea what he likes. Mm -hmm. This is plenty of slaw for hot dogs today. So there you have it, slaw. Oh, were you showing them? Yeah, I was just showing them what one in it? the jars so they could see. All right, this is ready, so we're going to drain it. I'm going to grab some paper towels. And we're going to drain this. So I just scoot it up. I turned this off for one because I've got gas and I don't want to get burnt. And I scoot it up like this. And then I let the oils drain. So far, there's not a lot. You can kind of just wait on it because it'll come. Just give it a minute or two. And it'll start trickling down. And then I use paper towels to soak it up. Because look, this hamburger meat, when it gets cold, is hard. And I mean hard as a rock hard. So you don't want to eat any more of it than you need to. So really, that's what you're eating when you're eating a hamburger. You're eating a lot of that. So I'm just gonna go across and kinda smash it. All right, that looks good. We're gonna soak it up with these paper towels. And I always use my spoon so I don't burn myself. And that way it can just go in the trash. when you're done. Learn that from a viewer. I was telling y'all that the other day. Here, let me get a... We got some tongs. Hand me that little pair of tongs. Thank you. There we go. For now, I'm putting it right here in the sink. All right. Now, we're gonna add the finishing touches to our chili. If you want a recipe, always look in my recipe description instead of writing down what I'm doing in, during my videos because it's just better to do that because sometimes I alter them a little bit. I'm adding a little pepper. We're going to put in a little salt. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt at least. Um, about eight ounces of tomato juice, but now I'm gonna add just a little extra because That's I've tomato got, sauce. I mean tomato sauce, yeah. Thank you, Chris. I, I'm adding a little extra since uh, I got a little extra rare beef. I don't have any fresh garlic. You're supposed to use fresh garlic. So I'm using some garlic powder. You wanna use some basil. Now, I put basil in my regular chili. It makes it good. And then we're going to use some chili powder. And we're going to mix it up. And that's all there is to it. Simple and really good on a hot dog. And if you want the ground beef in teeny tiny little pieces, um, we'll use the hamburger smasher and get it really small because that's the way you want it. You don't want it to be in big hunks, okay, for hot dogs. Because then it looks more like a sloppy joe instead of hot dog chili. <laughs> right. It doesn't taste like a sloppy joe, though. Okay. Let's smash it really good. And then our chili's going to be ready for our hot dogs. So I'm just making sure all of the ground beef is separated good so that it's in tiny pieces. Because for hot dog chili, that's the way you want it to look. This is a hamburger separator. You can get it from Rada Knives, which is on our website, or you can buy the Pampered Chef version as well on there. Um, this one actually is the Pampered Chef one, I believe. 
that I'm using right this minute. And once you get one, you'll really enjoy using it. It's nice. It's not like you gotta have it though. You can do the same thing with a spoon. All right. Now that looks more like hot dog chili. Because it's in little bitty pieces. You get it out from around the edges and bring it in the middle so that you make sure to smash all of it good. And that's it. Quick, easy, delicious recipes for today. It's 10 o'clock. We're eating at 12. Um, oh, actually, because you can leave. I tell people this. It, it upsets them, but I personally... We'll leave something like this out up to, not past, four hours. Since we're eating in two hours, it's absolutely going to be fine. So I'm going to scoot it over to the side and put a plate on top of it. And when they get here, we'll warm it up. That's our chili. There it went. There it is. And our coleslaw, since it's, um, our coleslaw is fine as well, but I'll put a little plastic wrap on top of it, and uh, we got that ready as well. Do you know that all my life I was told that anything with mayonnaise will spoil quicker and make things go bad? I researched it in mayonnaise will not go bad. Just do your research. Well, they leave it in that jar for... I know. It ever. can be... It, can, yeah. it don't even have to be refrigerated. How crazy is that? Hmm. For real. So... Google it. Mm -mm. That's some good stuff. I'm hungry. I'm about to eat some fruit with cottage cheese. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm about to eat some fruit with cottage cheese. We'll be back home when we mix up our potato salad and make our strawberry pie. Thanks for watching. Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook, like Mama did. Bye, I love you.